I'd like to share with you in this video more about design and less about technique. It doesn't really matter how good your technique is if your design isn't well thought out and conceived and something that's beautiful to look at and easy for the eye to understand and read. Being able to keep things simple enough but yet include the kind of contrast that make it interesting is a huge key in doing good paintings. So the subject matter is in this piece is about a cardinal sitting on a pine branch during a winter snow. And for a lot of people, this is probably a, a little bit of a kitschy subject matter, a little Christmas card kind of thing. And uh, I'm not really concerned about that. What I'm interested in is just trying to make something that is beautiful to look at and brings good thoughts and good feelings. So I start off again with a really loose background. It's not about detail in the beginning, but everything in this painting is leading towards what eventually is going to be the dominant point of interest, which is this cardinal sitting on this branch. So the first branch that I started to introduce here, and the, the thing about this is right now what I'm doing is I, I've put in some real soft edge basic shapes, and you can see there's three of them, three groupings of like pine needles, and they're all different sizes that are on the towards this left hand side. I do have a little grouping there down on the bottom right hand side too. But uh, Now I'm introducing these lines and calligraphy. And I use, one of the things that you notice, I, I use broken line a lot and lines of continuity. In other words, lines that line up and are connected because of their alignment but they are broken. They stop and they start. And you'll notice that with these branches. Uh, I don't make it all one continuous line. Uh, it'll go from thick to thin, dark to light, and then even it'll stop and then start again. And that's more interesting than a line that looks the same all the way through. So uh, that's one of the design elements that I use in this painting are these lines of continuity or these broken lines. Your eye connects and fills in the space between because of their alignment, because they stop and they start along the same uh, continuum. And you'll notice where I put this uh, cardinal is right in the curve of that branch and it's in the golden mean area, which is that if you dissect the painting into thirds vertically and horizontally, it's in that bottom left-hand third where I'm putting this bird, which makes it a different dimension from the top of the painting the right hand side of the painting and the left hand side of the painting and the bottom of the painting. Each of the spaces between the edge of the painting and the cardinal in, in each of those directions is different, which creates a really interesting variety. And that's the most interesting thing about golden mean uh, and why I think it's important. Now, you can rely on it a little too much. And, yeah, you can put a dominant point of interest right in the center of the painting and get away with it, or you, you can put it in other areas. But because of the variety, that's an ideal place to put it. I 
everything that I'm doing in this piece leads towards this cardinal. It brings the eye towards the cardinal. So as you move through the piece, you eventually come right back to that starting point, which is the bird. And that's also the ending point. I'm just adding another design element here, which are these snowflakes, uh, which just adds another little bit of variety uh, to the piece. It, it's, it's another element that makes the painting maybe just a little bit more interesting to look at. It creates some overlapping relationships, which I think is really important to create depth. Uh, illusory space is one of those magic things in a painting to make it look like that's not a flat surface. It's a surface that you could reach your hand into and you feel the depth. And so the techniques of illusory space are real important. One of those is overlapping relationships, which I use a lot in the branches and the pine needles and even in these snowflakes. So I'm going to start to render the, the cardinal and uh, you can see it develop here as, as, as I start to uh, do a little bit more drawing with the brush. That's one of the things I do in this painting is draw with my brush. I hadn't drawn this paint, this bird out at all. Uh, you want to be able to draw. So uh, if you're having a hard time, keep practicing, keep drawing. It'll make your paintings better. Another design principle that I use in a lot is this idea of opposites, the symmetry of opposition. The idea that opposites explain each other is an important principle in all my paintings. So within the dominance and the minority, I try to push my contrast as far as I can. And you, you, in this piece, the opposite color of a warm is a cool, right? So all the whole background's cool. But also the opposite color of red is green. So you can see I've got some of those grayed down green colors uh, to act as a balance and a way to explain the warm color. Simultaneous contrast says that opposite colors affect each other with their own complement. So when you put a cool color next to a warm color, the, it makes the warm color warmer. So one of the ways I can make this red redder is by putting a complementary color near it and around it. Uh, it's a great way to make your paintings interesting. Another design element that I use that I've talked about before is this idea of uh, dominance and majority, emphasis on minority. Uh, the idea that a lot of one thing makes a little bit of something else more important. It goes along with the idea of anomaly, uh, this one thing that's different than everything else in the piece. And in this piece, it's the, obviously it's the cardinal that is the anomaly. It's the little bit of something. It's this bright red color in a small amount that it's in a large field of grayed down cool color. Uh, it, it, so if you use this idea of dominance of majority, emphasis on minority in your pieces, it'll always help. And I, I try to keep that in mind with all my contrast, whether it's the shape contrast, whether it's the color or value contrast or uh, texture contrast, whatever those contrasts are, I try to have a lot of one thing and just a little bit of a counterbalance uh, to make that relationship interesting. You can see what I'm doing is 
every line, every detail that I add now gradates towards the cardinal. And I use that principle of gradation in design an awful lot too. Uh, it goes along with the way we see. The further we move towards the edges of our peripheral vision, the softer edges are, the more out of focus things are. As you move towards the center of your vision, the more things become detailed until you get to that tiny little area uh, of foveal vision, which is where you really see things in distinct detail. That's the way I'm handling this painting. Uh, you can see all the detail leads towards the cardinal and gradates towards the, the cardinal. So there's, I'm adding more detail around the bird as I move away from that less and less detail. One of the things I hope you'll notice here too is how soft edge the cardinal is. It's a rounded form. And if you make that a real hard edge, it's going to look cut out and pasted on. So when you're uh, creating any kind of, whether it's a figure uh, or a round shape, a tree, a, a bird, an animal, whatever it is that you're painting, uh, you can see the edges on this bird are very soft or have scumbled. They're not a real hard to find edge. And that makes it helps make it look more rounded. You can even see with the snow that I'm adding here, it's gradating again towards the cardinal, more detail around the bird, which leads your eye towards that dominant point of interest. things I do here is to take a real transparent wash of uh, grayed down white and just push some of those values further back into the background which makes the cardinal stand out more creates a little bit more atmospheric perspective which uh, gives the whole painting a little bit more depth then the last thing I just spatter a little bit more snow in this piece which gives me more variety with the size of the snowflakes and you can see I concentrate those in the area around the cardinal which is where I want you to look I don't worry too much about those edges so the painting is just about finished I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you'll continue to watch these episodes of fireside sketches that I post and uh, I'd love it if you comment let me know how you feel and uh, if you'd share these with people who might enjoy them and if you would subscribe, that would be great. Uh, hope to see you again soon.